Dear partners and friends, today I wish to highlight the urgent need for accelerated action to address water, sanitation, and hygiene in healthcare facilities. Water, sanitation, and hygiene are essential elements for safe, quality healthcare. But today, as we face the most serious health emergency of the last 100 years, it is equally clear that ensuring access to safe water, adequate sanitation, and hygiene supplies for all healthcare facilities is an essential part of the response to COVID-19. Data from Latin America and the Caribbean show that although nearly nine in 10 healthcare facilities get their water from a public network, less than 60% of the water they receive is of good quality. Only seven in 10 facilities have sanitation systems that work properly, and fewer than four in 10 facilities are able to manage their solid waste safely. Remarkably, about one third of healthcare facilities lack soap for washing hands, something that is of course very basic. Given the documented gaps in water, sanitation and hygiene, which we refer to as WASH, due to the lack of those services in healthcare facilities worldwide, the World Health Assembly in 2019 passed a resolution calling for improvements in this area. This resolution urged member states to conduct comprehensive assessments of the availability and quality of WASH services in healthcare facilities as key components of infection prevention and control programs. It urged all countries to develop and implement roadmaps for ensuring that every healthcare facility in every setting has safe, reliable water supplies and sufficient, safely managed and accessible toilets or latrines. The resolution also invited international, regional and local partners to raise the profile of WASH as a key requirement for building stronger health systems. And it stressed the need for governments to empower communities to participate in the decision-making to improve WASH. To move forward on these issues, national health authorities must undertake efforts in several key areas of action. Firstly, they need to develop and implement national policies, strategies, and plans for making sustainable wash improvements in healthcare facilities. Secondly, they need to foster effective multi-sector coordination to ensure the needed inputs from different sectors. Thirdly, we need to improve data collection and analysis of the WASH situation in order to drive evidence-based policy decisions. And finally, we need to strengthen training and monitoring initiatives. Investments in WASH are more than essential. They are high-yielding investments as well. We know that every $1 spent on WASH saves an average of $7 in healthcare costs. This is one of the reasons why PAHO has been supporting WASH improvements in healthcare facilities since well before the current COVID-19 pandemic. We have supported countries in diagnosing the WASH situation, and we have made improvements in the availability and management of water supplies part of the Safe, Smart, and Green Hospitals initiative. Now, in the midst of the COVID pandemic, we have redoubled our efforts to help member countries ensure that healthcare facilities have adequate and safe water supplies, fully operational sanitation systems, and hygienic conditions at all times. We are committed to continue to work with governments as well as public and private partners in the development and implementation of national roadmaps to close the gaps 
and we welcome new partners as well. So please join us if you have not already to ensure that quality wash services exist in all healthcare facilities. This is both an essential element of the COVID-19 response and a critical avenue for advancing towards universal health. Thank you very much.